Today, I make a dog uncomfortable. Yeah. I face my worst enemy. So let's go. And the N3 gets to play outside. <laughs> install some aftermarket parts. What? Don't you dare! Anyway, Turner Motorsport was sexy enough to sponsor the channel. Don't worry, we're gonna keep the car looking OEM. So let's see what happened. Alright everyone- Ah, the sun! So today we're changing the differential oil on this blue BMW. I mean, we gotta keep up bringing new content, right? So today we're gonna do a differential oil change of the M2. <sighs> so we're gonna replace these two differential plugs with the ones from Turner Motorsport. So these bad boys are titanium and magnetic differential plugs. So these magnets collect any differential shavings circulating in the diff. So with a 14 mm Allen key, we're gonna bust open the differential, obviously starting with the one on the top, and after opening the other fill plug, we're gonna catch it all with this drain pan. So let's get it. So let's get it started. All right, so with this differential oil, just the OEM good stuff, and this fluid transfer pump, we're going to fill up the differential again. So let's first open up the fill plug. Righty loosey, lefty tidy, right? There we go. Oh, that smell. Oh, this, this stuff smells so bad. Jesus. All right, so now for the drain plug. Not sure if you can see this. Ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, that smells terrible. Mmm! <laughs> Ugh! Gross. Alright, so I'm gonna clean up my tool, this one, and then we let this continue dripping. Alright, so now that this is finally done dripping, we're gonna give it a quick clean with some brake cleaner. before installing the titanium magnetic drain plug. Then we're going to torque it down to 45 Newton meters. And that's our drain plug installed. All right, so this is our contraption, as you can see. So we're now going to pump the differential fluid in there until it overflows. Yeah. So that one is almost empty. That one wasn't fully full, but from my experience, I would say you'd need around 1.1 or maybe 1.2 liters. Should be overflowing any second now. But now it's actually overflowing. So we're gonna take it out. Yeah, you can see it overflowing. That's when you know to close the differential again. So we're gonna quickly grab our titanium magnetic plug. Wait for it to drip out a bit. So now we're gonna screw in the new drain plug. Now a quick clean with some brake cleaner. Before we torque it to spec. And that's the diff fluid changed. <laughs> so next up we're going to change the brake lines on this bad boy. Luckily that's something I haven't done before on the channel. And today we're gonna do a brake fluid flush and replace the stock brake lines with steel braided brake lines. God damn it. Okay, so we're gonna install the Turner Motorsport steel braided brake lines. So we're also gonna use the racing brake. <coughs> <coughs> we're also gonna use the racing brake fluid by Motul. I've used this on the M2 as well, and it's just good stuff. You would also need a catch can for the brake fluid, a brake fluid bleeder and this syringe-like thing. All right, so the first step is to remove the wheels. All 
Here we have the brake line that we're going to replace. We're going to start out by removing it from the top. It will probably drip a bit, so I have prepared a drip tray down here. That one to be precise. So first up, we're going to spray some penetrating oil. <laughs> penetrating. Then with an 11 open end wrench, we're going to undo the brake line. There we go. There we go. All right, so then we're going to remove this clip over here. I'm going to use some channel locks. Come on. Yes. There we have it. And then, I believe... Should, oh, there we go. All right. And then finally, we would need to remove the brake line over here. We're going to do this with a 14. There we go. Oh, there we go. So I noticed something with the original one and the Turner Motorsport one. This is the top of both brake lines. And as you can see over here, this is where the clip goes on the original brake line. And according to the new brake lines, the clip is positioned over here. I mean, look at the difference. That's never gonna work. Okay, so besides the difference in height of the brake lines, I'm gonna install the new ones anyway, of course. So we're first gonna start out by twisting the brake line in here. And once that's fastened, we're gonna guide it all the way over there and secure it on top. And I'm deaf again. That's good and tight. This is not lining up at all, which is super weird. This thing is supposed to be over here somewhere because then it would fit organically in here, like so. But that thing is all the way over there. It's, it's weird because at the original one, it's over here. Not sure how we're going to do this. Let's first tighten it up here because this is still dripping. And that's good and tight as well. So in the meantime, we're going to continue with the brake lines in the rear. It's exactly the same process. And repeat the process on the other side. Completely messed up the after shot, but there we go. All right, so it's actually another day. I got in touch with Turner Motorsport and they indeed said that the brake lines were faulty. The metal grommet should have been on a different location of the brake line as just shown in the video. For now, I have attached the brake line to the bracket with a tie wrap. That is, of course, a very temporary solution. Turner Motorsport is going to send out a new set of brake lines, so that's great service on their part. Weird that this can happen, but happy that they're resolving it. So now we're going to copy-paste on the other side off-camera and bleed the brakes. All right, so after driving a couple of miles with the new brake lines installed, I can already feel that the brakes are more responsive. It all just feels very tight. Mmm, tight. In the meantime, Turner Motorsport already sent out a new set of brake lines, this time manufactured correctly. Off camera, I went ahead and installed those, as you'll probably see right now. So furthermore, in celebration of a million subscribers, go check out my new merch. Pretty insane, right? All right, so next up, we're gonna replace the ignition coils. So Turner Motorsport also sent out these ignition coils. Obviously, we've got six of them. So these provide for a slightly more efficient combustion of the engine. Okay, so I haven't done ignition coils on the channel before, right? All right, so that's the coils removed, and now it's time to install the new coils. <sighs> All right, so as most of the work is the same as in last week's video, we're gonna speed up the process and do it real quick. So let's do this. So we're going to start out with these clips, then these plastic screws, then all the 13 millimeter bolts of the carbon fiber brace, and this 10 millimeter bolt. Then we're going to pop off this beauty cover. Disconnect the MAF sensor, the air box, then the charge pipes, the 
Then we're going to remove this brace. First, we're going to undo these clips. To uncover the bolts of the brace, Then we disconnect these. Oh, right. I forgot one. Then we're going to remove this plastic panel. Then we're going to remove this cable. And remove the plastic trim. So now we remove this cover. which allows us access to all six coils. So to remove these, you unclip them like so, unplug the connector, and I use a socket extension as leverage to pull out the coil. And that's one coil removed. And that's all six coils removed. So look what I found. This coil had a very hard life, I suppose. Not sure what happened there. I'll look it up on the internet, what a coil like this means. If we compare these two, that's a huge difference. Anyway, time to now install these bad boys. Yeah, that looks way better. All right, so the process of installing these is fairly simple, so let's go ahead and install these on the car. So, this notch should line up with this notch. You can feel it latch on the spark plugs. Obviously, it's a very good idea to replace the spark plugs while you're in there. Mine are only 7,000 miles old, so for now, I'll be fine. So once it's lined up and latched on, we reconnect the connector and close it down. And now repeat the process for the other ones. Bing, 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 bing. And those are the coils installed. So now we button everything up again and continue. All right, so welcome back to the underside of the car. So today we're gonna do an oil change on the M3 since the car got a proper beating from the guys from Auto Top and L. Here's a little sneak peek. All right, so after this proper beating, the car deserves an oil change. Obviously, we're gonna use very good oil, the Shell Helix Ultra 5W40 with a man oil filter, and of course the magnetic drain plug from Turner Motorsport. Sorry for all the repetitive content, but this is at least something new. We're gonna do a quick oil change and install the Turner Motorsport magnetic drain plug. Ugh, oh, come on dude. All right, so let's get this oil change done, and what a good idea to do so in a white sweater. A pretty insane sweater though. So let's get it done! All right, so with the 17, we're gonna bust open the drain plug. Out. Catch the oil and let it drain out. Install the magnetic drain plug. Remove the oil filter. Change out the oil filter and the O rings. Reinstall oil filter. And fill it up with six and a half liters of oil. And that's the oil service done. All right, so now that the mods are done, here's a look at the befores and afters. So here are the before shots. All right, so here's a look at the afters. Oh, thank God it looks exactly the same. God, I love this. Truly improving the car whilst keeping it looking OEM. All right, so that was it. I love mods like these, truly improving the car whilst keeping it looking OEM. Check out the links to the products in the description below. And again, a massive thanks to Turner Motorsport. Also, go check out my new merch in celebration of a million subscribers. Next time, we're repairing the M3. Because yes, we have damage. Both cosmetically, mechanically, and electronically. 
I'm gonna need some time for this, so please consider subscribing in the meantime. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time! So in the meantime, I was in touch with Turner Motorsport. So in the meantime, I was in touch with Turner Motorsport. Turner Motorsport. Turner, Turner, Mot Jesus. Turner, Turner, Turner. Turner Motorsport. So in the meantime, I was in touch with Turner Motorsport. <laughs> All right, so in the meantime, I was in touch with Turner Motorsport. Check out the, check out the links to the products. Check out the links. Check out the links to the products in the description below. Check out the links to the products in the description below. And again, a massive thanks to... <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Check out the links to... Hey, check out the links to the... Check out the links to the... Hey. <laughs> okay. Check out the links to the product... Check out the links to the products... Oh yeah, check out the links to the products in the description below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out the links to... <laughs> check out the... Hey! Okay.